Hello everyone, it's Helder here. Today I wanted to go ahead and speak to you and uh, review this uh, tool sharpener made by AccuSharp. Uh, now those of you that have been around in the field for a while are probably familiar with whetstones and using that as our primary uh, sharpening tool in the field. I know that's what I was used to for years. Um, the problem that we have with that is it does take a certain amount of skill uh, to be able to sharpen your tool correctly. So there's always that learning curve and in the process uh, a lot of tools get uh, messed up uh, to say the least. So I was sent this tool to me, uh, I'm sorry, the sharpener to go ahead and review. And it's ironic because I already had one of them in my kitchen that I had been using for a couple years. So I knew that this was pretty much good to go, just took it out of the packaging today because of the experience that I do have with the AccuSharp. The only thing real difference here is the color. Now going with the color, the reason uh, why I had asked for an orange one to be sent to me is that when we are out in the field, we're always dropping stuff. And you know that sometimes when you drop stuff, it's uh, very difficult to find. So when you have something orange like this, especially for a tool that you're not using in any kind of tactical situation, it's always cool to go with the uh, bright orange so that you could make sure that you could retrieve your gear if it does uh, fall out or um, get displaced uh, from your pack or your person. Now what, what we have here is these uh, carbide tungsten uh, sharpeners here, and it's just basically this V-notch. And what we're doing here is basically taking the blade that we're working on. So right now, let's go ahead and go with our kitchen knife, because that's what I was first exposed to with the AccuSharp. And what we're doing here, what the manufacturer recommends is to always put the tool on a uh, stable surface. All right, in this case, it's being my uh, kitchen knife. And they want it to hang out about an inch and a half, let's say, off the end here. So whether you're doing it on a table, for the purposes of this demo, I'm just doing it on a... On a, a piece of wood here, okay, which would probably mimic more so what we would be utilizing in a field. Now what we want to do is we have this cool guard here, this knuckle guard, to protect you from the actual blade. But we can't be stupid here. We still have to realize that we have to align this, okay, perfectly. So we have those two little, or the V-notch in here. And what I'm going to do is just apply. Now I'm not sitting here and pressing, okay, I am just basically using just a tab of pressure to just glide across the edge and bringing it down. Okay, once again, nice and level, bringing it through, you can hear it, going ahead, working on that metal, sharpening it up. Now the cool thing about this is, especially if you keep and maintain two, three passes with the sharpener, you're good to go. That's usually what I'll do uh, in the kitchen when uh, right before I'm ready to prepare something, let's say, I'll go ahead and give it two or three uh, passes with the AccuSharp and it's good to go and seems to maintain its edge and uh, its proficiency. Let's keep in mind that if we do have a dull edge, it's a, a very dangerous situation uh, that we have going on because uh, uh, just think about it, it ends up bouncing around and that's how we end up getting cut and stabbed and you know by ourselves. So we kind of want to be smart about that and uh, keep our uh, tool sharp. So here I have my uh, buck knife, hunter buck knife, uh, something that I've actually used, uh, the other white one that I have over there to go ahead and sharpen. So you can tell it follows the same exact principle not too complicated here. Anybody can do it, just be smart. Right? You have your little thumb rest area here. And once again, I am not pressing, pressing, pressing. It's almost just the weight of my hand with just a little bit of tension, just going ahead and gliding across, keeping me safe. And at the same time, not destroying the metal on my knife because the harder you press, the more metal you're gonna take off, You know, eventually rendering that blade useless. I've used it for all sorts of blades. Okay, this one's a little bit tricky uh, with the camera angle. But I also have, let's say, my tomahawk here that we're always throwing around and dulling the blade because, of course, we miss more than we actually hit the target. But I guess that's what practice is about, and that's how we get good, right? Um, so, once again, same scenario, just a little bit more delicate because of the fact that you have this awkward angle here compared to the straight edge that would lie perfect either on the table or on this uh, tree stump, so to speak. All right, so good to go. Once again, sharpening all sorts of tools. Great multi-purpose. Uh, thing and it weighs like nothing it weighs like a couple ounces right so we don't have to worry about that the size also is relatively small so we add all this stuff together it's something that uh, is good to go to keep in your pack or in several packs and in my case one in the kitchen and one in the go bag i have this other blade here actually a combination of blades that i got uh from a commando in brazil but the one thing about this blade is i'm sure that it is seen very dull uh some serious action, 
okay? So keep in mind also that this does do serrated edges uh, as far as this tool sharpener. So you're good to go both on serrated and on a uh, just regular straight edge. All right, so I kind of wanted to show you here just with a piece of paper and I could actually use the wrapping that the AccuSharp came in, right? Made in the USA, good stuff. So as I press down, okay, you can tell there's not really much happening here. Okay, pretty dull blade. So let's go ahead, use our little magic sharpener here, right? Feeling more and more like an infomercial every day. Uh, pressing that down, going ahead with a few stripes here. Here I'm gonna go at least four or five passes because of the fact this thing's so dull and probably hasn't been sharpened in years. All right, just nice and gentle, basically applying least amount of pressure as possible. And just going through. Go ahead, get the same exact package here, going through the back, and a little different, right? So, very good to go. Just a little bit of sharpening. One other aspect that I wanted to bring up is, as far as these V-notches, they do last a while. Once again, the more care and the less amount of pressure that you put in, both uh, to not destroy your blade or the edge of the blade, and also to uh, keep this long, uh, serviceable longer uh, so that you could keep utilizing it, not wearing out uh, the little V-notch in here, right, with the carbides. But uh, you can also reverse these. That's the cool thing. You have these uh, three screws, take them out. You can go ahead and reverse these two notches, and you get uh, another uh, extended life out of it, right? Just however long this, so you're basically doubling the life capacity of this. Uh, they do sell interchangeable. Uh, the carbide uh, tungsten things that are on the inside, but uh, they're almost as expensive as uh, going ahead and purchasing a new one. So I would recommend just purchasing, it, purchasing a new one. Uh, they're very inexpensive. Once again, I will put all the specs in the blog post, so make sure that you check it out. I'll also post a link of uh, where you can go ahead and get this. Uh, and uh, once again, great tool. Uh, for those of you that are into blades and, and have all sorts of bladed tools, uh, you will understand or appreciate the value of this little, light, inexpensive item. This is Helder. I hope that you enjoyed this review.